Hey folks, this is IOE Thor, and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is War Tank in his T Skoda 25T. This is a tier 6 game on ends. And it's not a standard game. It is, in fact, an encounter. So, um, I'm hoping I can uh, get all the long cutting sounds out of this recording. Because, unfortunately, as I decided to start recording this, Somebody decided they need to start cutting the lawn directly under my window. Um, and I can't record any other time. So, <laughs> this is when this is gonna happen. I'm hoping I can, I, that you guys don't hear any of this and I just sound like I'm crazy and that would be great. Um, but if you do hear, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do anything about it. Um, so before we get into the battle, I do want to say that um, currently on Patreon, we're, I got a, uh, a goal going for shooting me with paintballs at the end of the month if we uh, we raise enough. And, and currently, uh, you guys are obviously wanting to see me get shot with paintballs because um, the the goal was thirty five dollars. We're currently at sixty bucks, which means I'm gonna get shot five times currently, or we're sixty four. Sorry. Um, so if somebody kicks in another dollar, then I get shot a sixth time, because every, I decide when I put it up, that every five dollars over 35, I'm going to get shot one more time. Um, Sweetness is going to do the shooting, most likely. And, uh, or I'll get one of my friends to, to do it if, if she backs out. And, um, yeah. One, one paintball for every five dollars. So if you guys want to see me get shot a bunch... Anyways, um, <laughs> we're going to jump into the game as he unloads into this poor P2640. And, ah, I like this. So, first off, he only has three HE rounds. No premium, and <laughs> almost 100% of it is, um, standard ammo. As he gets his first kill on this Panzer 3J over here. Um, and so he's reloading every time he gets the opportunity. Which is really smart because of the fact that the Skoda's reloads are always going to be short. And this is, in fact, uh, fixed camera mode. So if it looks really zoomed out to you, it's because this is how he's playing. Um, he's playing really third-person mode. More than I, w I would. Um, and, by the way, if you're going to play in third-person like this, you per it's perfect to want fine. You can. Uh, your shots are a little bit less accurate for the most part. Because, um, obviously, if you can't if you're not scooped and then you can't see what you're shooting at most of the time. But if you're gonna play in third person mode, make sure you're zoomed in like this. Um, if you're zoomed in like this, then you can drive quite easily and shoot quite nicely. A lot better than you can if you're scoped way out above your tank, right? Um, and so yeah. Ooh. Looking for the nope, he's not gonna get this way. He's a little hoping for get this P2640. I mean, he knocked him down 200 health, and then oh, nope, okay, we do get him. <laughs> he bobs up just long enough to die. And he was thinking the Churchill might come out, so he didn't reload for a while. And now that he's reloading, the Churchill looks like it's gonna come out. Oh no, that is completely different. That's a 60 GFT over there, and it is ripping apart our team. As it oh, somebody returned some fire into it, but. Uh, Oh, well, he's not looking at us, so go ahead and take him out. That's the one one of the great benefits of the, the Skoda T, or any of the auto orders, actually, um, is the fact that you can just burst damage. As long as you're doing your reloads correctly. And reloads are really, really crucial with auto orders. If you're not doing your reloads correctly, then you're going to have... You're going to end up getting yourself killed for no good reason. Uh, because you're going to end up reloading at the wrong time. Um, real, doing reloads correctly just really involves anytime you're moving or you're disengaged from the enemy, you should be reloading. And that's that's a pretty good rule of thumb. Um, I mean, obviously, if you're only going to be disengaged for a few seconds, then you don't want to reload. But if you, like I me, mean, this whole time, if it's a, if he had been a batch hat doing this exact same set of movements, he should be reloading during all this time. Because of the fact that he's not engaged with the enemy. And he doesn't need those shells in the in the gun at that particular second. Whereas if he had only had two or three in the barrel and, and or in the loader and he could handle five with you know batch right? 
then he wants to get those back before he re-engages. The Skoda, it's a lot less um, crucial because of the fact that you're only loading three shells and um, and you reload fast enough that you, you can reload just about any time you really need to and it, it's not too much longer than a standard reload at this level. Um, but you still want to try and be judging those reloads to make sure you always have shells as you engage the enemy and always have enough shells to take the enemy out. Hopefully. <laughs> That's the goal anyway, right? Ooh, Churchill spotted. That is where the Churchill went to. So now that we know, he's just going to come in. He's He didn't wait until he dropped out of sight. Ooh, he actually ends up using all three shells because he didn't aim any of those shells. Um, he was worried about getting shot by the Churchill, and so he, he was just spamming shells. And that almost went really badly for him, um, especially against a heavily armored target like a Churchill or any heavy tanks. If you're going to engage them from the front, you're going to take at least one shell from them, know that, and aim, especially if it's they're literally just on their last bit of health. Ooh, unfortunately though, he does not have enough damage to take out this IKV and um, in one uh, uh, reload, but thankfully, he does have enough speed to get all the way around it and just keep going. Um, and then, so he just waited till he reloaded and then re-engaged. Well done. Uh, that's sometimes hard to do. He's only got, I was about to say, he's only got two allies left, but that would, that would be a lie. He's only got one ally left now and four enemy tanks still on the enemy team. Uh, the grill being his only ally is helpful in some ways, but if this Hesser continues forward, then the grill should be spotted and, and dead pretty soon. Um, yeah, grill's got to be spotted right about now. No, that Hesser knows something's over there. And uh, look at War Tank speeding back to defend his artillery. I like this. You're not going to be able to shoot through that, though. So you're going for the gap in the train cars? No. Well, obviously he's going for a reload. The grill is going for the shotgun. Heads to drive closer. And, oh, that snipe. Oh, all for nothing, though. As the grill gets itself taken out by the left. Oh, and there's the... <laughs> The FE. Uh, who's going to try and shotgun you, by the way, because it is actually really good at shotguns. Um, it does, in fact, get hit. Or we do, in fact, get hit. And we bounce the shell from the left. Really? Oh, left still at the back of the map. Interesting. And it goes ahead and I'm pretty sure the um, FE fired clutch, thinking that we were going to just charge straight out there. And, of course, he didn't. And so then that just means that's the end of the, the poor FE. Because once it fires, it's dead in that kind of situation. Now we know exactly where the OI experimental is. And since we have a fair idea where the left is, it's going to be a dead left unless he moves. Now the experimental obviously has figured out exactly the same issue. And so as long as the experimental tries this, we'll be okay. If he does this, then we're going to meet him about, um, ooh, actually, it didn't, we didn't have to go nearly as close to that thing as I thought we were going to have to, but we were obviously lit because of the fact that, you know, it shot at us. So he's going to tuck in behind here. Nope. No, he's not. I thought for certain he was going to tuck in, uh, back behind that dead tank and wait for a few seconds until he was unlit. Um, because that would be just about the perfect spot to tuck in behind. You're at the edge of the map, you got cover, um, and if an experimental, or the OI experimental fires an HE shell or, or whatever, the other derp gun, it's going to impact the tank beside you more than likely and thus not hurt you. I've never noticed that compound up there until just now. Bet it was a new addition when they HG'd the map and I didn't even notice it. Oh well. It's still cool. <laughs> now, unfortunately, because he's got no premium rounds, he's got to do this all with standard rounds. And yes, this is his view right now. Um, so I'm not certain if I would drive it side on, but 
Uh, it looks like that's what he was pondering for a second. Uh, there are some great niches right here where he can take cover uh, and still get fire into the cap circle. And that's what I'd recommend. Um, or attack from over here somewhere. Because of the fact that um, the LAF was taken out over here, most likely the experimental is facing this way. Uh, facing over here somewhere. And so his gun could easily hit e either here or here. Um, and so it's right now you just can't try outplay the player, right? Uh, outplaying the tank is quite easy if you can outplay the player. Has he outspotted? Oh, look at that. The experimental is actually in a great position uh, for defending the cap. And actually, if we'd pulled up be behind him, um, that probably would not have gone well because we would not be able to shoot well enough into into the lower part of his tank. Now, unfortunately, leaving him on so little health and he knows exactly where we are, you can't scoot down the, this side because uh, he's close up to this side of the cap circle. So he's going to have to go all the way back around and come in from here in order to surprise him. And I assume that's what War Tank is doing. We're going to speed this up because otherwise it could take a vast a really long time for him to do exactly this and um oh i just realized the experiments was off the cap so what's he coming for us i'm gonna speed this up again and leave it sped up until we see the experimental um because in all honesty um it could be <laughs> three minutes more of waiting and i I don't know about you, but I got places to go and stuff to see before three minutes is up. Come on. You're on eight kills. Let's make this. I mean, he's already got his Radley. I didn't even notice that until just now. That he's on eight kills. Um, well done, by the way. Extremely good job. I actually really love the fact that he's done this all with premium ammo. Or with it premium ammo. Um... Okay, so where is the experimental? And I love the fact that he's committed to finding the experimental at this point in time. Because it's do or die right now. And so he's he's just he's running around the map, he's trying to Oh I like this spot. So we're gonna pause it right about here. So the experimental is actually in a corner. So it's maybe not the best corner in the world. Um, actually, if he was going for the best corner, I would have gone for back there because of the, this being a smaller angle. Um, but that's not a bad corner either because of the fact that he can basically be angled uh, no matter what. However, remember, we're not aiming for the back of the experimental. The sides just above the tracks are the weakest point of, on this tank. That's where he needs to be aiming for if we had some gold, we could punch rounds through anywhere on this thing. But we don't have any gold in this tank. And the HE isn't going to do anything. Standard rounds are the only rounds that we have to use. And they're not the greatest for this particular task. So, good luck. Oh! Experimental fire is too soon! <sighs> what a heartbreak. So War Tank rolled out here and fired. Uh, he was aiming for the center of the tank. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't need to come out this far. He could have come out this far and hit the drive wheel. Um, but that all being said, this was just like the experimental. Oh, so sad. Because, of course, the experimental was trying to hit him before he got hit. And so he fired too soon, didn't aim. And then after that, it was all over. Um, wow. That was, a, that was a good game. Let's let's jump over and see what the battle results were. Okay. Third time is a charm as I try and get this thing to record again. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Ace Tanker, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Radley Walters, sorry, Radley Walters Medal. 
Pescucci's high caliber and the top gun. Wow. Um, the Pescucci's definitely helps out the Radley Walters. But this was still an incredible game. Look at that. I mean, so other than one other person on the team, who is the SU-100, who fired actually quite not a lot of shots, um, the rest of his team did almost nothing. <laughs> Seriously? That's two-thirds of his team with 500 damage or less. That grill wasn't amazing, but was very helpful. And just like top damage dealer on the other team was that artillery at the end. This actually, this I find really kind of interesting. Oh, right, because of course he was um, bottom tier or something like that, right? Yeah. This was a great game. <laughs> no tiers are kind of interesting at times, so. A little bit, a little bit dumb, a little bit weird, a little bit funny. Very tense, though. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> I enjoy this. Thank you so much for saying this in War Tank. Um, I can't wait to watch the other video you sent me. Um, but that's not going to go up this week. Next week, definitely. Thank you for this. Uh, thank you, and see you all next time. Don't forget, if you want to see me get shot by PayPal at the end of the month, click on the Patreon link and um as for a buck will get me shot by one more paintball so we'll see you next time this ioe thrive <laughs> <laughs>